How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Today, we've got NordVPN and Surfshark. We're going to be talking about their servers and how well they bypass geo restrictions. So before we begin, if you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn more about these VPNs with regards to their privacy policy, speed streaming, torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. So getting straight into this, uh, first of all, let me just make one thing clear. With regards to bypassing uh, geo restrictions, such as accessing foreign markets, if you're trying to, let's say, bypass a simple website geo restriction uh, that allows you access, uh, for example, Binance, if you're trying to access Binance, uh, if you're trying to access some kind of um, a software market that is only available in a certain country in Europe or Asia or the West or whatever it is, both of these VPNs will work perfectly fine. Now, if you're looking to bypass geo restrictions that are uh, related to streaming services, this is where both of their capabilities, you know, you might like NordVPN for one thing, Surfshark for another thing. And I'd recommend that you watch the review down below so that you know exactly where you're getting yourself into. But overall, if you're looking to unblock, just want to make one thing clear with regards to Netflix and bypassing Netflix geo restrictions, you won't be getting any errors uh, with either of these VPNs. However, if you're looking to bypass specifically trying to unblock the US Netflix library, I would recommend that you stick to Surfshark since NordVPN is still having trouble with unblocking US Netflix. Uh, however, NordVPN is still able to, uh, for the most part, unblock most other uh, Netflix libraries such as European and Asian Netflix specifically. Um, uh, Surfshark does a great job usually with a Western Netflix, so European and uh, American and Netflix. However, if you're looking to, uh, for the most part, unblock European and Eastern Netflix, then uh, NordVPN will uh, do the job. Now, that's about it for bypassing geo restrictions. With regards to servers, uh, you've got over 5,100 servers, all of which you actually have access to, as you can tell here, a massive number of servers with NordVPN here uh, in 60 countries. Uh, NordVPN allowed to secure up to six devices per subscription. And not just that, you do get specialty servers. Uh, so Onion over VPN servers, uh, which will give you access to the Onion uh, web, or the dark web without having to uh, use the Tor browser. Peer-to-peer -peer servers will be for those that are uh, engaging in peer-to-peer -peer activities. So these are just specialty servers. And if you switch from Nord Links, which is the best protocol you can use, it's the fastest one for NordVPN. If you switch to OpenVPN, you will get access to dedicated IP and double VPN servers. So two extra types of servers, double VPN servers, will uh, route your connection through two servers rather than one for double the encryption uh, and dedicated IP will always give you the same IP every time you return to one of these servers, uh, which can be helpful for those looking for that kind of feature. Now with Surfshark, you don't have as many servers, but you have five extra countries covered by Surfshark. So you've got over 3,200 servers rather than 5,100 with NordVPN. Uh, but unlike NordVPN 60 countries, you've got 65 countries with Surfshark and you don't get the Onion over VPN peer-to-peer -peer specialty servers, but you still get double VPN and dedicated IP called multi-hop and static IP in uh, Surfshark. So again, multi-hop and static IP in Surfshark will save the same purpose as a double VPN and dedicated IP from NordVPN. And with regards to the servers, unfortunately with NordVPN, the servers are still running on hard drives for the most part. Uh, whereas with Surfshark, they have made the upgrade uh, to RAM disk mode. So uh, what this means is that with NordVPN servers, they still have hard drives attached to the servers, uh, which means that there is still physical space where data can be stored. Whereas with Surfshark, uh, they're running these servers on RAM disks and RAM disks have little to no storage. And whatever little amounts of data is stored within these RAM disk servers, it'll all be erased with every machine reboot. So that's usually better for security and privacy and making sure that no data is being logged. Unfortunately, NordVPN, they're still making that transfer from hard drive disks to RAM disks, 
Um, and I believe they've done that with some servers, but not all of the servers, plenty of servers to cover. So yeah, I imagine it'll take uh, a little bit more time to make the full transfer from hard drive to RAM disk mode. Besides that, that'll be it for this video. If you guys are interested in learning more about these VPNs, you'll find links to reviews down below. And if you'd like to get straight to the links to special deals and discounts and pricing, you'll find those down below. So feel free to uh, take advantage of those while they last. Besides that, feel free to ask me anything in the comments. I'll be happy to answer all of your questions. Both of these VPNs do cover all of their plans with a 30 day money back guarantee. So you're able to get yourself a refund through the live chat support, which is also available 24 seven. Just hover over the bottom right on their websites and you'll be able to access them very easy. Uh, besides that, thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.